Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLay with using windowshomeserver.com and the BYOB podcast. In this video, I'll show you how to map a network drive to your new Windows Home Server 2011. Let's get started. With a Windows 7 machine, you'll double click on computer. On the left hand side, you'll see down here it says network. You'll single click on that. You can see you'll have computers, media devices, network infrastructure, and other devices. Your screen, of course, will vary depending on your home network. Within computer, find the name of your server and double click on the server. Now it takes about 30 seconds for it to bring up all of the shared folders. Once it's done, you'll see the shared folders. You can see I have documents, music, pictures, recorded TV, videos, and I created a new share called 720 videos for my lower resolution videos. To map this drive to this computer, all I need to do is right mouse click, drop down to map network drive, and you'll see now it shows the proper format. Now for me at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this over temporarily. We'll keep this over to the side, and now I'll click on finish. It'll take just a moment and it will connect you to your Windows Home Server 2011. Couple of things to note. If your name on this computer and the password is different than the name and the password that's required to log into the Veil server, you will not be able to connect. So you need to make sure that this computer has the same access rights to your server. You can see now that it shows up. So let's go check this again. Let's go to computer. You'll see now that I have my server, Windows Home Server 2011, and I can find everything that I need. I can now drag and drop files between that. Your next option would be to actually type in the information as needed. So what I can do is I can go to Map Network Drive. You can see I'll make it my Y number here, and all I have to do is enter in Just like this, you can see I'm gonna to go to my documents folder. When I click on that, it'll now bring it up and you can see now that I have Veil server with 720 videos, which again was a share I added, and I have documents. This makes it really easy to transfer and copy files back and forth. I can now, for example, if I want, open up one of my other local drives and bring up, for example, my videos and I can copy any of the videos as I need to go over. You can see now it copies over quickly over the network and I'm good to go.